that it hoovered up more than twice the material of all the other planets combined. For this reason, it is often called a failed star. If it had been about 80 times more massive, the pressure and temperature at its core would have ignited nuclear fusion, and our solar system would have had two suns. It is a king without a crown of fire, its sheer size is staggering, you could fit all seven other planets inside of it with room to spare. Its diameter is 11 times that of Earth. But it's the view that truly paralyzes the senses. We see no solid surface, only an endless deep atmosphere. Bands of cream and caramel-colored clouds, composed of ammonia and water ice, are stretched around the planet by winds screaming at over 400 miles per hour. These are not clouds in an atmosphere, these clouds are the atmosphere. And there, dominating the southern hemisphere, is the most iconic feature in the solar system, the Great Red Spot. This is not a storm, it is a superstorm. A violent, crimson eye, a hurricane, wider than our entire planet, that has been raging for at least 300 years. We are witnessing a weather event, on a scale that defies all earthly comparison, a storm that could swallow our world whole. Jupiter is a world of extremes. Below these clouds, the pressure grows so immense that hydrogen gas is crushed into a liquid, and deeper still, into a bizarre electrically conductive fluid known as liquid metallic hydrogen. This swirling metallic ocean is what generates Jupiter's colossal magnetic field, the most powerful of any planet, creating deadly radiation belts that would destroy any unprotected spacecraft. But the story of Jupiter is not just about the planet itself, it is the center of its own mini solar system, a family of nearly 100 moons it holds in its grasp. And it is here, in the shadow of the giant, that our journey will take its next, perhaps most exciting turn, we will visit worlds of fire and ice. We will see the volcanic fury of Io and wonder at the vast, hidden ocean of Europa, a place that may hold the very life we have been searching for. Our time at the King of Planets has just begun, but we have already learned that the solar system is more magnificent and more violent than we ever imagined. Join us as we prepare to explore the children of Jupiter.